Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 3.5 module with arrays. And our essential question is how can you use arrays to model multiplication and find factors? So let's unlock the problem. Many people grow tomatoes in their gardens. Lee plants three rows of tomato plants with six plants in each row. How many tomato plants are there? Okay, activity number one, you can use array by placing the same number of tiles in each row. Make an array with three rows. So he said here it's three rows and each row is six plants. So we'll make three rows of six tiles to show the tomato plants. Okay, so this is how we'll do it. So we'll draw three rows and each row is six tiles so it will be something like this one two three four five six so this is the first row and the second row also six so one two three four five six so this is the second row the third row one two three four five six so these are the three rows one two three rows and each row is six tiles so here to find the total number of tiles we have the number of rows is three so three is the number of rows multiply the number in each row so in each row we have six so three times six is so three times six is like skip counting by six so here six plus six twelve twelve plus six is eighteen so here is 18 is the total or 3 times 6 equals 18. So there are 18 tomato plants in total. Okay, here math talk. So does the number of tiles change if you turn the array to 6 rows of 3? So instead of 3 rows of 6, he made it 6 rows of 3. Let's see, so you can say that these are 6 plus 6 12 plus 6 18 so the same number so if it's three rows of six or six rows of three we'll have the same answer which is 18 and as you know or as we said before if you have three times six it will be the same as six times three we said that three groups of six is the same as six groups of three okay so activity number two Use eight tiles, make as many different arrays as you can using all eight tiles. Draw the arrays, the first one is done for you. So the first one is one row of eight, or we can say it's one row, so one times eight in this row, so one times eight equals eight. Here we can make it eight rows of, so if we want to make it eight rows, so we'll put one inside each row like this. So this is the first row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are eight rows of one. So each row is one. Or we can say it's eight rows of each row is one. So eight times one equals eight. So if you notice something here, guys, 1 times 8 is 8, 8 times 1 is also 8. So, if, we, if it's 1 times 8 or 8 times 1, it will be the same answer, which is 8. Okay, so let's make the 8 by other ways. So, the 8 is, for example, 4 plus 4. So, we can make it like 2 rows of 4, like this. This is the first row, 1 two three four the second row one two 
three, four. So these are two rows. Each row is four. So four plus four is eight. So we can say that these are two rows of four. Or we can say how many rows? Two times how many inside each row? It's four. So two times four is eight. Okay, let's make another one we can say that the 8 is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 or 4 twos. so the first row is 2 second row is 2 third row is 2 fourth row is 2 so we made 4 rows of 2 this also equals 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we can make it 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 rows of 2 equals 8. So we can make 4 different arrays using 8 tiles. So guys, again, 1 times 8 or 8 times 1, these are equals to 8. And also 2 times 4 or 4 times 2, these are equals to 8. So now the share and show complete use the array. So here plank rows of plank equals plank so we have here one two rows so two rows of each row is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so two rows of ten which is ten plus ten is twenty so we can make it what times what equals what so two rows times ten in each row equals twenty Okay, here write a multiplication sentence for the array. So let's see how many rows do we have? One, two, three rows times. Let's see how many inside each row. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So three times six equals, let's skip count by six here. So six, 12, 18. So three times six is 18. Last one, how many rows? actually two rows here so two times how many inside each row one two three four five six seven so two times seven let's skip counting by seven so two sevens are seven plus seven is fourteen so two times seven equals fourteen so guys the first number is the number of rows and the second number is how many in each row. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have a nice day and goodbye.